Welcome to the third and final part of this little glass engraving. Our sloth hanging around. We carry on with a white Arkansas that has been flattened at the top and making as many little hairs as we can which are cutting in through the previous engraving and creating half-tone hairs. They are very effective. This burr will chew through a lot. It's quite surprising. You should be able to see the effect got a soft rubber again and just picking up some shaded areas where we have just used the white Arkansas those little hairs are going to be darkened further by the soft rubber that's just digging into them a little bit as well as softening the areas around. Now I'm flattening the top of a rat's tail to get down to the fresh diamond. Feeling it with my fingers, you can tell that it's really sharp. So now I am pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing and pulling and pushing, sort of flicking down, flicking up, flicking down and flicking up. The whiter hairs, sort of hair highlights. It has very interesting hair shapes on this arm, the way that it, it parts like, like a hair parting <laughs> to match the hair on his head. With some straggling little hairs going up the centre. Using the same tool, I am now doing his the top of his eyes. He's got such a cute little face. These hairs are a little shorter and where they sort of meet in the middle there there's obviously sticking out slightly and they almost a, a dotty effect as they come out towards you
just adding a few little highlights in the eyes and instantly it comes alive. Of course I am referring to a photograph make sure I, I get the right highlights, the right little areas of light and dark. So now adding some longer hairs onto the body. Note at the bottom of the face on the left hand side there, the hair is darker and it's an interesting contrast where I have used the diamond to produce lighter areas right up to the dark face. So there's that contrast, whereas normally uh, just underneath the chin and the cheeks, you, well, not the cheeks, just underneath the, the head you would get shadow. But in this case, because the hair is quite dark, I've, I've actually taken the white hair right up to the top. Now, I must apologize um, for the brightness here. The sun was actually coming through the window and it was just amazing. Uh, I didn't quite realize, of course, that it was a little bit too bright for my little camera. Uh, as glorious as it was for me, um, of course, because otherwise I was quite cold. Uh, unfortunately, it's blown it out a little bit. So I did try and get rid of some of that highlight, but not very successfully. Adding lots and lots of these hairs. When I say lots and lots, you still want to be able to see a bit of the contrasting uh, textures underneath. So place the hairs strategically. Don't just scribble. Notice, of course, I'm turning the glass. I'm holding it quite loosely and turning it and turning it so that I am comfortable with either pulling it towards me or flicking it away from me. He's looking all right, isn't he? Right, so I wonder what I'm going to do next. I have a feeling we're going to tackle some more leaves. Nope. <laughs> Back to the wide dark Kansas and adding some half tones where I felt it just lead, needed a little bit more. That was where that uh, area was quite dark. Now I wonder if I'm going to go back and give it a bit of a polish. No. Back to the white effects of the rat's tail. Mm -hmm. 
I do have a surprise in store regarding the leaves. I wonder if I'm procrastinating a little bit here. <laughs> I know what I've got to do and I'm probably thinking about it still. Yep, we're gonna go and go ahead and sign it even though we haven't finished yet. I'm definitely procrastinating. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I suppose you're you're getting um, a, a little bit impatient. I'm getting impatient. I wish I'd get on with it. But I'm still doing little bits of hair. Okay, so I've decided to do the leaves, uh, a few half-tone leaves inside. And this has a wonderful 3D effect. My problem here is because of the awkwardness of everything and the camera, it's, I, you, get, you don't really get to see what I'm doing properly. Um, you saw I started off with almost the same action as the engraving, then I decided to simply outline some leaves. So all of those are sketched on the inside. Now I'm taking my white Arkansas and I'm just having a have a go. Um, I have edited this quite heavily because a lot of my engraving you simply couldn't see. So this little bit you can sort of see. Um, obviously doing the leaves Pretty much how I did the other ones. These are slightly more half tone. As I say, they are being engraved exactly as I would any other leaf. Um, so I'm really sorry you can't actually see the action. <laughs> but you get the basic idea. Um, I'm just roughly filling in where I have sketched and in some places I've I've added even where I haven't sketched. Obviously I'm trying to um, engrave where there are gaps and there'll be slight overlaps, slight overlaps where there's a bit of engraving in the front. Um, but that doesn't matter, we sort that out. Because of the nature of the medium it actually means that you will see a little bit of both leaves so you don't really want that so what I will be doing is is polishing back now I'm just showing you basically what I have engraved I'm pointing out the odd leaves you can't really tell the difference but literally those are only um, scribbled in with a bit of uh, white or Kansas at this stage they do show up very well I'm sure you'll agree the camera doesn't really show you how wonderfully 3D they look. I have now got a green stone and I'm going over what I have done with the white Arkansas. I'm just making them slightly brighter in areas and neatening them up a little bit because they were a little bit scraggly and the white Arkansas was leaving um, little funny marks, which it sometimes does. Um, White Arkansas can be, behave 
quite strangely sometimes. So you've just got to check that out. And I'm smoothing it out with the green stone, which is still a half tone, although not as bright as diamond, that's for sure, and not quite as dull as a white Arkansas. It's quite an interesting stone. So I've managed to find a little bit where you can just about see what I'm doing through the glass. Very frustrating. But it was impossible, really, to, to get inside there and get the camera in there as well. Now they're showing up even more. You can see the really white ones are the leaves that are on the inside. Can you believe it? And that's only with the green stone. It's fascinating. So now I've got um, the rubber. A rubber. This is a soft one. And I'm just adding in a bit of shading down the middle, up the sides. It's easier to show you um, the engraving on the inside with the rubber because the action is pretty simple. Thank goodness. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going over the areas that, that I mentioned earlier that have got an overlap. So I am polishing out the areas that are overlapping um, so that from the front you don't really see that leaf coming through. And I know you can still see some coming through now, but you will see that I will then come to the front and highlight a little bit more so that you can't see that leaf. It's quite important. There we go. I've got a green stone, actually. And just by doing this, I'm kind of eliminating that overlap a bit. Eliminating it a bit. Now that doesn't even sound right. <laughs> I'm either eliminating it or I'm not. Um, but when you hold it up, you might be able to see it coming through a little bit. But that's all right. Again, highlighting the edges of the leaves where the back leaf is overlapping. I could have gone to town, actually. I could have done loads more leaves, lots of smaller ones, lots of little twigs and branches, but I wanted to get finished. And, you know, you've got to stop somewhere. And this can often be a problem, whether you're painting, whether you're engraving. You've got to know when to stop. does look a little bit messy, uh, but I do sort of check it out and fix it, fix the last minute bits later on um, after the video. But the basics are there. Give it a good clean. I'm quite happy with this, with this little glass. I love the little face looking up at us. Um, looks quite happy hanging in his tree, her tree, whatever. A 
And I'm thinking of lots of more, lots of more, <laughs> lots of different subjects that we can do along these lines of carving. It's funny, you know, when you start thinking of, of a theme or, or making your brain start designing, all of a sudden there's a rush. And literally, I've got to start writing it down because it's all flying into my head faster than I can remember. So there's our little finished glass hanging around. Looks like he's got a little itch, <laughs> having a little scratch. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a go at some carving, and I'm sure we will revisit this technique pretty soon. Take care. Bye for now.